this video I'm going to show you guys how to use AirDrop. Now you could use AirDrop to transfer media files from your computer to computer to your or from your computer to your iPhone. Uh, the first section is going to show you how to do it from a new MacBook Pro to an older iMac. First thing is first you go to Finder and you go to AirDrop, make sure Wi-Fi is turned on and once you do that you're gonna see the screen here you, you don't gonna see any computers right now because it's an older Mac so you're gonna have to do something else and right where you see that option don't see who you're looking for Pre uh, select that option and you're gonna see search for an older Mac once you click that you're gonna wait and until the computer shows up you get your media files ready you select them all once you select your media files go ahead and dump them or drop them right where you see the computer name and then wait for the transfer to complete and then i'm going to show you guys what happens on the screen of the other computer so here you're going to see a message appear for you to accept the files once you see that go ahead and accept it and once you select it it's going to download the files and then the files are going to be down in finder and then select downloads once you select downloads then that's where all your media files are stored and this is the process from a new macbook pro to an old imac i'm not sure why they haven't fixed that but that's pretty much how you do it in transfer files. You cannot transfer files from a all iMac to an iPhone and vice versa, which it kind of sucks. You can only do it on a computer that's classified as a new MacBook. I think it's 2012 and above. And then I'm going to show you next how to do it from your iPhone to the computer. All right, this is the next section and this is gonna sh show you guys how to transfer from your iPhone over to your MacBook or your new MacBook. At first on your iPhone, you unlock it of course and then you swipe up from bottom to top and then you see the option where it says AirDrop. I always use everyone just because you could do contacts only you could do everyone and once that's enabled then that's great um, so what you do is you open uh, a finder window and then go to airdrop and then you're gonna see your iPhone appear in there and the same process you drag and drop the files in there and you're gonna see that notification on your iPhone that you want four pictures to be transferred, you accept it, and then bam, they really or they pretty much appear on your camera roll on your photo section on your phone. And that's how you transfer. Now if you wanna do the same the other way around, uh, you open photos get the picture that you want select the picture that you want then on the bottom where you see that square with the arrow up press that and then you're gonna see airdrop come up and then you choose the computer then you're gonna see the option on the computer saying to accept or not to accept and that file actually goes here in your downloads folder and right there So that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, you have to make sure Wi-Fi is enabled and in the uh, MacBook in order for that to work. And that's pretty much all there is to that. If you have any questions, leave your comment below. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.